So this user Arnmerst490 has 28,371 fans and her net worth is almost $2.5 million. That's insane in this virtual Hollywood life. That is impressive. I got to give her credit. Unfortunately, in real life, she's crushing up Xanax and snorting lines of it and drinking a bottle of Chardonnay every night to cope with the fact that she lives off food stamps in a cockroach-infested studio apartment in Queens, watching her acting career swirl the drain every time she fails to get a call back from her auditions. God bless her, though. Keep playing this game. That'll help. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back to a brand new jar of expired mayonnaise. My name is Leon Lush, and as always, I am so grateful that you decided to join me for just a few minutes here today. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm just messing with you. I'm using this mic today. Now, that's just a little inside joke between me and the crew, because I normally, I normally hold my microphone. But listen, if you're new here and you want to be privy to the subtleties and the nuance of the inside comedy moving forward in future videos, I recommend you go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. And I don't, I don't usually ask at the beginning of videos, but I'm quite sure that if you wait to watch this video before deciding, you'll have, you'll have an ample amount of reasons not to subscribe. So go ahead and go ahead and smash that. Good, yes, yeah, hit the. That's how mafia works. Yeah, you you know the meme, right? You've seen it on Twitter or on Instagram or that stupid stupid game Mafia City or the level one crook, level fifty crime boss nonsense. Yeah, it was popularized by my friend Slazo, I believe, and then later picked up and made even more popular by PewDiePie. And uh, it all comes back to the root cause of the evil is this game Mafia City, which is like this terrible mobile game that has just been ruthlessly advertised on Instagram. So at this point, Instagram is notorious for just terrible mobile game ads, especially in January, when all of the big advertiser money was dumped into Instagram in December, and then it dries up in January, so all these like, B-list, D-list advertisements kind of slip through the cracks and start showing up in your feed because nobody's spending money except for these terrible mobile games that are trying to, you know, get the ad rates while they're low. <laughs> now, Slazo and Danny Gonzalez, off the top of my head here, are two acquaintances of mine that have made videos about just how bad these mobile game Instagram ads are. And I didn't, I wasn't keen on really doing that same thing, but I, we're gonna be in the same vein here today, but we're gonna go a little bit deeper because I got this direct message on Instagram. Rex Buckingham, a viewer of mine, sent me a DM that said, Leon, you should do a vid playing some of these games Instagram advertises tilted laughing till I'm crying emoji. <laughs> For some reason, this caught my eye, so I scrolled up, I clicked it, and it's shit, I mean, just look at this. Look at this ad. Hollywood story has it all. Lots of romance, comedy, and drama. You control what happens next. So you have this dirty, cheating whore on the top bunk, and then you're in the bottom bunk, and you have to decide, do you call her boyfriend, or do you join them? And it goes back to you. It's up to you. You make the choice. So immediately, I, I, I see this, and I'm thinking to myself, man, there is nothing I would... Re well, hold on a second. Yeah, no, there's nothing I would rather do less than play this game. So we're gonna go ahead and download it and play it. 23.3 thousand people have rated this game. That means like 100 billion people have played this. That makes no sense because nobody actually, who actually rates apps when they, when's the last time you had the pop-up in an app that you, that you use? It's like, hey, do you have time? Will you rate this app? You're not, no, you're not hitting, yeah, let's rate this app. No, no, 100 times out of 100, you hit maybe later, because ain't nobody got time for that shit. <laughs> and who is writing these reviews? What kind of person writes like a 19 paragraph novel about Hollywood story? I just, if you play games at the casino, usually they give you like two or three gems, but you want me to pay like 25 gems for a pair of heels? And I'm sure no using my hard-owned money to pay for gems like that? Heck no! If this game keeps having these issues, I'm going to delete it because I just can't deal with this anymore. I mean, can you imagine the pain and the anguish that this user to not have enough gems to buy heels in this bullshit virtual game about Hollywood. In the br just think of how brave she is to be able to share the story with us in the review. Th this is... <laughs> oh, and by the way, the actual icon for the game when you download it, like, and it's on your home screen on your iPhone, is just a girl surprised that she's pregnant. <laughs> this game is... Right up my alley. And I also hate that the clothes are so expensive and that most of them cost diamonds, which is not fair because it's very hard to get diamonds, so please fix both of these major problems, the fans problem and the expensive items problem. 
<laughs> Who has the time to write these reviews? <laughs> it's no worse than reading the reviews and calling it YouTube content. <clears throat> oh, my fucking nose is broke. All right, so this is where they plant you to start. Hey, girl, I see you finally made it to New York. I'm so excited. I can't wait to become a big star. Where are you staying? I rented an apartment, 227 Harlem Street, apartment 503. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh my fuck. Kill me. New mission, enter flat 503. <laughs> I already got a diamond. I have no idea what that reviewer is talking about. That's the easiest I've, that's the easiest diamond I've ever gotten in my whole life. They don't know what they're talking about. Um, so is this it? Well, it looked better on the pictures. Yo, who is this hunk? Hello, I'm your new landlord. So what do you think? Well, oh, finally I get to choose. I don't like it, this place is a heap. I know it's not the fanciest place in the world, but it does have character. Now that you have a place to live, it's time to get some glam appearance. The hair salon is nearby, we should check it out. This is a perfect idea. Okay, so my new mission is to go to the hair salon and change my appearance at the hair salon. Already, this is pretty much just as good as The Witcher 3. Okay, I have one outfit. <laughs> what a broke bitch. Hell yeah, I'll use the couch. What is she doing? How, how do you get, how do you get to the goddamn hair salon? Oh, you can scroll. Oh my God, there it is. Okay, so this broad moves to New York City with 15 grand and she's about to spend 15 hunch on a haircut. That is, that is not the money management that's gonna allow you a long prosperous career in New York. You are gonna get chewed alive, but I do like this, I do like this updo right here. Let's get that going. Another diamond. It's <laughs> so easy. Ooh. Hello? Hey girl, I heard you're in town. Let's go shopping. Hi, Nikki. That sounds awesome. Meet me at the Harlem Boutique. You're gonna love that. Can I get some makeup though first? Ooh, lip job. One diamond for lip injections? <laughs> Talk about a steal. Let me get those DSLs, baby. Oh my god damn. <laughs> Five diamonds? I just got five diamonds just for going to Harlem fashion. That reviewer is an idiot. I'm about to buy all the damn heels up in this bitch. I suggest you find a cute dress for yourself. Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> uh. It's elegant, almost a bit too much though. And for 3,500, I feel like I need just a little bit more thigh. Perfect. Another fucking diamond. Are you kidding me? This game is pathetically easy. Ooh, I'm blown up. Okay, how the hell does Amber already know I bought new clothes? I just, like, I literally just bought my new cocktail dress. That is, uh, that's a little creepy, Amber. Hold up, though, before we go. Yeah. Okay, didn't get a diamond for that quest. I'm not really happy about that, but let's keep going. Ah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. I don't know why I ever doubted this game. Perfect. Five more diamonds. Five more fucking diamonds. Yeah, the new cocktail dress is nice, but I'm more of just a, a leather boots only kind of gal. <laughs> That's gonna do it. Hey girl, what's up? I was just enjoying my life in the Big Apple. <laughs> I'll show you a place where you can earn some quick cash. Sounds great. Well, let's meet a Harlem restaurant. You need to get dressed before you go out? Okay, I'm a young 20-something smoke show brunette in New York with a brand new pair of DSLs that only cost me a, one diamond, mind you, and I can't even empower myself by going out in just my brawn panties and leather boots. This is this is not how I want our kids, this is, I can't have, I don't want kids playing this game, okay? That is not, this game is sexist against bras and panties. This is, I can't. Fine, I'll throw on a dress. Why, you're clothing like a man. Oh, thank Nikki. Every great action starts here. To start up, your shift is tab on the waitress. Completing actions fills your progress. When you fill your progress to the end, you are done with your shift. Hi, you can earn some cash by working here. Would you like that? Okay, real talk. I just got done with 13 years bartending and serving in the restaurant industry as my main source of income. And now that I'm out of that, I get to, if, in, just in case I miss it, I can continue serving people in a video game on my phone. This is hell yeah, I'll work. Pour coffee, one energy. <laughs> Man, this is fun. Make coffee, three energy, in progress. You collect the, you collect stars? What is the, take an order. 
This game is a blast. Ooh, a diamond. I got another diamond. I mean, at this rate, my flat is gonna just be floor to ceiling diamonds by the end of the night, especially with this new waitressing job. <laughs> Alright, the new mission is to meet with Amber in Queens, and I'm not seeing like a pepper spray or self-defense shop here. Which is a little unfortunate, but I guess let's... Let's give it a go. Good to see you here, Bob. I love your outfit. This is the place where you can kickstart a career. Queens is a movie agency movie set everything you need. That's really cool. I like this neighborhood. Two funds and collectibles are telling a various homeless trailer. Hi, I'm a real estate agent. This flat is now on sale. You should get it. Well, now you're talking my language. What are we talking? 15? 20K? 10,000 for a flat in New York? This is not true to scale. True to life? I don't know. Holy shit, I just gained a thousand new fans? What is... Oh my god, there's a there's a list of most popular? This is... And this the most popular is 28,000 fans? I only have a thousand? Well, I feel like a loser. Let's see what she looks like. Driving in limo, friend visit. Wow, what a beautiful flat. Let's check out your portfolio. So this user, Arnmerst490, has 28,371 fans and her net worth is almost $2.5 million. That's insane! in this virtual Hollywood life. That is impressive, I gotta give her credit. Unfortunately, in real life, she's crushing up Xanax and snorting lines of it and drinking a bottle of Chardonnay every night to cope with the fact that she lives off food stamps in a cockroach-infested studio apartment in Queens, watching her acting career swirl the drain every time she fails to get a call back from her auditions. God bless her, though. Keep playing this game, that'll help. <laughs> Well, that's all I can physically bear of this game right now. I, I see this as something like that I can make fun of in a video right now, but then I go on to be helplessly addicted to it and start unlocking all the places like Hollywood and Las Vegas and just really investing some hard-earned time because I'm so worried about climbing up the ladder of most popular in this fantasy world. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker, man. I'm in. I mean, once I got the knee-high leather boots and a fresh pair of DSLs for only one diamond, I knew there was no turning back. I love this game. I really enjoy playing this game, but I can only give a rating of three stars. My biggest reason for only giving three stars is because everything that I must buy costs diamonds. I've paid out of my own pocket for diamonds, but I don't feel like I should have to continually pay out of my pocket for diamonds, but I found that if I didn't, I would still be waiting to win diamonds. You see, what we have here in example A is a child leaving a review that doesn't understand the concept of a pay-to-play mobile game. Not only does everything you purchase must be purchased with diamonds, but the items are ridiculously expensive. I've read through many of the reviews and find the majority of the people that play this game write reviews of the same complaint. The game must be broken! There's not enough diamonds! You have to use real-life money to buy the diamonds, but you, it doesn't make any sense! How can I play this game without using my money if I can't get the diamonds when everything costs diamonds? I don't get it! Listen, kids, if you're watching this, the answer is obvious. Just get voice over Pete. Attention, all Hollywood Story gamers. To get John Wick to shoot you over a couple of credit card numbers with the three-digit code on the back. All he needs is your credit card number the three digits on the back and the expiration month and year. But you gotta be quick. To help you get as many diamonds as you need and secure your epic victory royale in your Hollywood Lifestyles video game. And I know I said this was the worst game ever, but 4.6 out of five after 23.3 thousand reviews, apparently I'm, maybe I'm the one living in the dark, the stone ages, right? I guess I should probably just invest some more time into this game and really try and find out what these people are are seeing, they seem to be, um, aside from this diamond issue that is very clearly a pretty big issue in the reviews, we're still getting some good ratings. I just want to get to this point in the game, quite honestly, where my friend Becky, the gargantuan whore, is cheating again with this disgusting rat that she met at a Starbucks who only has 8,000 Instagram followers, by the way. Pathetic. And I'm on the bottom bunk like, yo, do I call up her boyfriend Jason? Handsome, loyal, let him know that Becky's cheating on him again? Or do I take a shot at probably the most epic threesome I'll ever have in my life? I mean, these are the decisions in the Hollywood Story game that you just have to make, and they're not easy decisions, but you're put on the spot. You gotta choose. Call Jason, Becky's a whore, let him know, or get up there and start piping down that disgusting nobody with my best friend Becky. I don't know. I just, I don't know. This, I'm gonna, what would you guys do? Would you call Jason, let him know that Becky's cheating on him again, or do you hop up there? and start hitting them off with the fuck. I mean, you know the moves, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, you, you get it. Anyways. Well, guys, do you remember this part from the beginning of the video? But I'm quite sure that if you wait 
to watch this video before deciding you'll have you'll have an ample amount of reasons not to subscribe so go ahead and go ahead and smash that yeah i was not joking <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you made it this far god bless you what are you thinking <laughs> anyways i appreciate your time as always even if it's wasted before you go one last request i have if you don't mind just grab a little pinch of salt and a little pinch of cinnamon just grind them together in your fingers for about 15 to 20 seconds and then Oh, and then when that wears off, just pull out your phone and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.